There are a lot of good habits you can build up when working with computers. One of them is file management. I tell students all the time, file management will kick your butt. There are people who've lost files and there are people who will lose files. There's nobody who's never going to and never has. So in order to minimize the amount of lost files we have, you do little things like remember what you called it and where you put it. So anytime you save a file, remember what you called it and where you put it. And to that end, it's helpful to build up habits. So when you get older, you find you lose your car keys and your glasses and your wallet. So one of the habits you can do is always leave them in the same place. So have a hook by the door for your keys. Have a shelf for your glasses. That way when you lose them, you only look in a couple of places. Otherwise, you're looking all over and you all know what I mean. So what we want to do is create a folder on our computer which where we do our work. And the easy way to create a folder is to go to a place that's pretty regular. It could be My Documents, or in my case, I'll just go to My Documents. And you can create a folder. And I'm going to call that local underscore HTML. And I'm going to call it that because that's where I'm going to put the local files, the files that are on this computer, not to be confused with the files on a server. And I had already created some files before. Uh, this valid XHTML page, I'm going to put that in there and uh, I can't because I've maximized my student quota. But, uh, well, so just for now, what I'm going to do is put these uh, on my computer right here. And I'll go into the C drive, and I'll make one there. This is more realistic with what you have at home anyway. So we'll call it local underscore HTML and put our files in there. So helps to have the windows right. I always like to view them by details. It makes it easier to look at them with this view. I put that there, and then I have the, my company page as well. And so now whenever I do work, I do them in C drive local HTML. Again, you can put them wherever you want, but you need to know where it is. Also, since I'm going to be using this a lot, rather than having to go to my computer and C drive and so on, I'll make an alias for this. So send to desktop, create shortcut. And now I have this shortcut on my desktop, and even better, I'll add that to my quick launch toolbar. So when I hover over this, shortcut to local HTML, I can just click there and bam, there I am with my files. So I can close all this other stuff and whenever I sit down to do my work, bang, there they are. And that's the first thing you'll do when you start working on a web page is look at where your files are. And now we know what they are, where they're, what they're called. And I'll view these by details. Nice clean view, again, demonstrate. Bam, there we go.